thank you guys all for spending some time with me towards the end of the conference here. I'm going to try to do it a little bit differently, provide some energy as you guys sort of take on the way, maybe close out with some of the themes of the conference as we do it. Um, but I want to frame a little bit where my perspective comes from. I come at, at this as a patient first. And I'm new to this particular family, but I'm not new to innovation. I've spent my 20-year career helping different companies and industries through transformable change involving technology. So whether it's the media space, whether it's the consumer product space, whether it's any of those that have been imp impacted by technology and internet specifically, I've been involved. So I see a lot of similarities in the healthcare space. I see a lot of differences. But at the end of the day, it's really for all of us about what's next. And for me personally, it's a three-part story. It ends with a happy ending, as it should in a story like this. Um, not a lot of data up on the slide, just a lot of pictures. So just bear with if you need data right now. I will come back to you later with plenty of data. But right now, we're just going to go with the pictures. Um, what was next for me was in 2004, I was 35. Three kids under three had started, sold, or been involved in about a dozen different companies. As an attorney, had helped about 40 companies raise money taking about 20 companies public. So I look at this conference and I'm incredibly invigorated by the personalities and the topics that we're covering. I just came from one, Missy Krasner was fantastic in a financing conversation. Earlier, Vince Caritas was fabulous in his keynote about where the industry is going. There are a lot of similarities, again, here to what goes on in other industries. The question will be the rate of change. First part of my story, though, is me. And in 2004, I was on top of the world, 35, ready for the next thing. Woke up one morning, coughing and fatigue. Three kids under three. Went from running 100 miles an hour, 80 hours a week, to not being able to get down to my kitchen table. Going to sleep at three in the afternoon. Not being able to finish a sentence. Mentally, physically, white. And once you get into this world, you're not in Kansas anymore. I mean, you're just not. And you go from a place where you were running in a certain direction, and it is humbling. It is absolutely frightening. And you have no clue what to do. And intelligence is not a factor. That first step is a doozy, and keeping your head above water is nearly impossible. 